Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Fantasy Cow Radia with Arcane Deathbloom at the helm, of course. So, we are now, thanks to many recommendations from you in the comments, going to siege the nearby Bleeding Throat Clan, newly conquered town from them. So, we currently have a level up, which I have not specced into anything just yet, because I wanted to do it on screen, and let's just take a look here. Now, as you can see, we do have five in Necromancy. We need eight in Necromancy and eight in Iron Flesh, isn't it? I believe to actually be able to summon shadows. But I think for now, we'll be leveling our intelligence even further, getting some more magic defense, and I suppose pathfinding. That's always going to be good. So we'll do that. And we'll get some throwing skill, because of course, we do want to hurl some spells and hopefully make it rather effective at killing our enemies. So. This is the army that I have concocted over the few weeks that I have not been doing Fantasy Caradia. Now, it's obviously not taken me this long to make such a small army, but what has actually transpired is I have become a vassal of the Delthusum Empire. Now, a side effect of that was, of course, that they gave me a fief to look after. Now, the only problem with that is if we head over to my fief that I was awarded, yeah... This is it, and the Order of the Blazing Hand has just taken this castle, which this village belongs to. So, I am without a fief, which is a little unfortunate. However, I am hoping that because of my advanced relation with the Lich King himself, we will be able to request that this town be awarded to us. So... Let us hope that we are able to take this. I am pretty confident in the fact that we will be able to, thanks to your confidence in our mages. So, let us just hope that we can build our ladders. Nine hours it will take. Let us hope that no one will turn up. Now, the good thing that I noticed before I started this recording is that the Bleeding Throat vassal that is around this area was sieging Samara Castle. So, thankfully... He is not anywhere to be seen, and we are able to now lead our soldiers in an assault. And let us hope that we will be able to get in there and deal some damage. Now, I do have a new weapon, as you can see. I actually replaced my dagger, because the dagger, well, just wasn't very good, in my opinion. For me, at least. And please, come back here. Come back here, infantry. Thank you. Okay, so yes, as I was saying, it wasn't very good for me because, of course, the reach was just not very large at all, and I really wanted to have something a little better, and this is, I think, going to be quite nice. So, yeah, as you can see there, the speed is rather nice too. The only thing is, of course, the reach is medium range. Not great, but yes, as you can see here, our journeyman mages are doing an excellent job. They seem to have a great vantage point right here, so let's actually get down to doing some spell throwing of our own. And let's throw some flaming arrows at our opponents. And maybe we can do some damage? Oh! Oh no, I thought that was us, but apparently it's just our journeyman mages. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> well, we can just let our mana increase a little bit, or mana, however you want to say it. And where is my shield gone? Are you serious? My shield has disappeared somehow! No! Oh well. I don't really mind so much. <laughs> I just want to get a kill. Uh, that's why I want my Lightning Bolt. Because Lightning Bolt is an amazing spell. I highly recommend actually anyone using it that wants to get into spell casting. And if you're not terribly good at being accurate with spells, which I am not, then it's rather nice. So let's try to... Yeah. It appears my shield has disappeared, so I suppose we'll have to deal without it. Which is not going to be too bad. I was thinking of getting a two-handed weapon, which may have been a better idea than getting a one-handed, but I thought, well, it's faster and it will enable me to duel a little bit better. So, what we're going to do now is send in our infantry. Now, I did take some of your advice, and I have a couple of dwarf units, and I've leveled them up more than pretty much anyone else. What I did was place some of our units on a kind of sabbatical, and they took a little bit of a break, and then... I, of course, summoned them back up, and that is, of course, our zombies ahead there. So we were able to gain a little more experience for the ones that I believed could potentially use it more. Now, I would love to be able to get in here and use my newly acquired weapon, but it appears 
Our Dwarven Paragons and our Mages are doing an excellent job as it is, so I don't believe we really need to do much, but it would be quite nice if we could get in. And how many... Oh my, only two enemies remaining. Okay, well, we've lost two to Wounded, but that is really nothing to quibble about at all. So, I suppose we will be attaining victory once we get in there. Now, I'm very puzzled why we are not moving. Can you charge in? Oh no. It appears we have gotten stuck. Oh, never mind. Okay, so a mummy priest was able to get in there and finish off our adversary. That's not too bad, I suppose. And there we are. Three renowned, ten morale. We definitely need the morale because, as you can see here, we've been having a couple of issues because I have such a large army. So, yes, that's not too nice. So we'll be taking these enemies to sell. And then... Ooh. Oh, that's not bad, actually. We do need one more point in strength. And now, I did somewhat splurge a little bit on the dread robe because I saw it and I thought, well, let's take it, why not? It makes us a little more necromancy -er. Yeah, that's really not a word, but you know what I mean when I say it, so yes. <laughs> that's quite nice. I was looking for the void hood as well so that we could look more necromancer-like, but yes, unfortunately I was not able to just yet. So there we are, we will now continue onward, and we will request that the town be awarded to us. This would be amazing and a very big boost to our resources, that is for sure. So yes, as you can see, we have no garrison to speak of just yet. Now I'm hoping that the Bleeding Throat Clan will see fit to leave us alone, because of course I do want to keep this town for ourselves. Now, of course, if the Lich King sees fit to award it to someone else in the Delthusum Empire, then I will be very upset with him indeed, and I will hunt him down and take him out somehow. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm thinking we might want to hire these hired blades, but as I am currently having morale issues as it is, I think we'll probably just leave it. However, what I would like to do is, of course, sell... Do I want to sell that? It's not as good as what we currently have. That's all I have to say. Is it? It's got more armor. It's got very little speed, though. Hmm. I would like to use it just because it's a warg and it's new. So, yeah, let's use that. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea, but maybe we can use it for one battle or something. One or two battles, perhaps. Maybe I'll like it more than that, and we'll probably keep it. Who knows? So, yes, there we are. We have a spell book, and we'll keep that until we level up our strength, and, yeah, that will be fine. Now, is there anything else in the arms department that we would like to get? Hmm. That is rather nice, but I think we'll probably just stick with our heavy military hammer. That seems okay. Heavy morning star. Well, I know I use one of these in my other series, and they're pretty good, I must admit. They do have piercing damage but that is 1,000 dinars that I may not want to spend so readily. So, yeah, I suppose what I will be doing is waiting here for some time, and then if anything untoward were to happen, I would then cut back. Okay, so here we have some very good news indeed. Lich King Malyron has decided to confer Barry upon you, and we may decline it, but I don't think we will be, so let us accept the honor. Oh yes, so there we are. We now own our own town, which is rather impressive to say the least. Now, I took the risk of placing some of our units in here just to garrison it a little bit. Now, yeah, of course, there was a very good reason for that, and that was I was losing quite a few units to low morale. So it's quite nice to have that all sorted out now. So, this is where we have a little issue on our hands, and that is, what are we going to do now? Yes. So, I think we'll probably head in here and just take a look at who is within it. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh my. Okay. Who is this? Arwa the Pearled One. My name is Arcane Deathbloom, of course. Mother of the Saranids and their rightful queen. Aha! I see. So this is a claimant. Well, we will not be doing this just now, at least, because, of course, we still want to stick around here and... Hopefully gain quite a suitable wage from 
Barry Yi being owned by us. So, yes, it appears what we may want to do now... I would like to build a prisoner tower, but we are not really going to be in a spot to take any vassals prisoner just yet. So maybe... What I would like to do, to be honest, is take a walk around the streets and see if we can find the guild master. There's the armorer. There's the weaponsmith. And... It would be wonderful if the Guildmaster was up here, that is for sure, because then we might be able to buy an Enterprise for some very cheap money indeed. <laughs> I would like to be able to, but you never know. I really don't have a lot. I only have 2,900, I believe. So I think we probably have enough for a brewery. Do we have enough for a brewery? Perhaps. That would be really nice. And... If I wasn't so terrible at navigating in these towns, then I may be able to find him. Yeah. Well, at least I have Frudak and Matteld with me. So, at least they are going to be rather supportive or mocking me for such terrible navigation. But here we are. We have found him. Hello, Guildmaster. I wish to buy land. And I suppose we will be making... Yeah. That's minus 18 dinars. Hmm. What about a brewery? 161 dinars a week and 2,500 to spend. So 161 dinars a week. Hmm. That's not great, is it? But I think we're probably going to do it just for now. We can always change it at a later time when we have more money, of course. And I think that would be rather nice. So... We only have 456 dinars. That has to change rather fast, so let us hope that we can try to find a band of desert bandits, perhaps? Or potentially something even more powerful. So let's venture off into the desert. Now, I must be wary because, of course, the Bleeding Throat Clan does not like us one bit. And I must just mention as well, before we head any further, that they did just take back Normarsh Castle. And... Now it has returned back into the Order of the Blazing Hand. Yes, so the Delthusum Empire took it back, and then the Blazing Hand Fellows took it back from them. So it appears that is some rather prime real estate. I'm not entirely sure why they're spending so much time over there, but I suppose what can you do? Now, it would be rather interesting to see whether we could expand the Delthusum Empire any further by taking some of the Saranid strongholds. Now, I'm going to take a look at Bardak real quick, and we'll see what we can do with that. Now, I'm very tempted, actually, to... Ooh, that's not bad. They only have seven... Oh, they have 21 mages, 27 mages, 28 mages. So that's, mm, that's quite dubious. Mm. Well, I will be... Ah, oh, wait a minute. Ooh, Scroll of Black Bolt. Maybe we could take a hostile action against them. Take the supplies? Oh, that's unfortunate. They didn't give us anything. No. Uh, I was so hoping that they would give us that scroll, but unfortunately that does not seem to be the case this time around. Oh, well. Maybe what we could do is, considering we may be technically at war with the Bleeding Throat Clan, we might be able to take something from here. So let's head over here and see if we can actually do that, because, of course, we are very low on funds, so it would be quite nice. Oh, no. He's raiding it. I want to fight him now. Should I fight him? Do I really mind about the Saranids being at war with us? Not particularly. Because they really don't have a lot of mages to be able to fight us. Mages are probably the best units to have. And an abundance of them is always a good thing. So, huh. do we want to go over there or do we want to go over here? I think we'll probably just go over here for now. And maybe we'll return back in just a moment. Now we do need to be very cautious of that fellow over here. That guy actually ran away from some desert bandits? Really? I'm a little worried about his decision making right there, but we are going to be plundering this village, and if anyone turns up... Please, no one turn up. I am so close to cancelling this particular raid just because I am so scared of that 560 band of orcs. Oh, and there's one of our own units right there. Well, one of our own vassals, and we were thankfully perfectly fine. Oh my goodness, yes, this is exactly what we wanted. Lightning Bolt, Missile Storm, two times Missile Storm. 
Very nice. Gold ingots, a velvet, spellbook, raw silk, a loot, and a huge amount of other goods that we definitely want to take here. Wow, that was so successful. That is great. That means we don't have to go to war against the Saranids, even though I don't really think it would be all that bad, because they are probably going to be taken out of the game any time now, because, as you can see, the Bleeding Throat Clan is completely decimating them. I'm actually wondering whether going with the Orcs is a better idea than going with the Undead Fellows, but I really just like the Undead Fellows, considering we are, well, a necromancer. It would really suit our character to play with these guys. So I think what I will be doing is just basically heading back to Barryi, and I will sell all of our wonderful loot, and then once I have, I will cut back, and maybe I will have decided that it's a better idea to try to take Bardak Castle, perhaps. Yeah, we might try it. Who knows? So, yeah, I will see you soon. Okay, so we are lucky enough to have drawn out the vassal from Bardak Castle, and we now have it all to ourselves. So we are going to be attempting a siege here, and preparing our ladders to do just that. So, let us hope that no one turns up to interrupt us. However, that wouldn't be the worst thing, unless it is, of course, an overwhelming amount of enemy units. So, let us now lead our soldiers, now that our ladders are done. That is great. And we will see how well our mages are going to be against the likes of the Saranids. Now, I must be a little cautious here because of the enemy mages as well. And as a result of that, Mateld was already taken out. Very unfortunate indeed. So let us make sure that we have our cavalry and infantry in a pretty reasonable line. And just be hopeful, I suppose, that our mages will do the work for us. Now, I did make a small mistake, and that is, of course, that I forgot to learn the lightning bolt spell that I was so happy to have received previously, so it appears we are going to have to make do without that just for now, and I think, considering 126, well, correction, 134 enemies have been killed, I am going to be sending in our cavalry and infantry, and do we have any cavalry yet? We have no cavalry. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, I suppose you don't really need too many with all of these mages. Oh my goodness. That was some laser action right there. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I would like to do some fighting. So, if possible, could we get up here? That would be rather nice. Oh my. What was that? Okay, it appears our mummy high priests or mummy priests are doing some pretty nice spells right there. Blessings, perhaps? And they are hopefully healing our forces. Wow. Now I see how overpowered mages and pretty much any of the Fantasy Calradia factions units are, and how easy it is for the Bleeding Throat Clan to walk over the Serenades. How unfortunate. Okay, well, <laughs> not unfortunate for us, though, thankfully. 10 Renown and 37 Morale is our reward, and we do get to take a couple of mages for our own ranks. Not bad at all. And we get some orcs as well, which is never a bad thing. They can accompany Frudak in his slaughtering. That's always a good thing. And we'll level up a couple of these fellows here as well. Great. So, oh, that's unfortunate. I was hoping that that was going to be a hat, but it appears not. So, I think a desert shield is probably going to be better, because it is, well, better in almost every respect, apart from speed. And, yeah, that is insane, actually. So, yes, that's great. And I suppose we'll just take all of this to sell. Okay, well, there we are. And, as you can see from our dinars count, the loot from that village that we raided was very profitable indeed. So that's great. And we are now, of course, going to be requesting that Bardak Castle be awarded to us, and hope that it is a similar situation to the way that Barry Yi was. And now Yumira has leveled to level 2 as well, and let's just level up a couple more units here. And... ooh, I think Calradian Militia would be nice. And we'll get some Forest Bandits, they're always good to see. And now we will level up Yumira. Now, I do want her to follow the ways of magic. Now, I don't know whether I have a holy symbol. I don't believe I have. I do have these spells, though. I would like her to become some sort of magic user. So, 
I think once I get a holy symbol, we'll probably transform her into some sort of cleric. That would be quite nice. And I think as a result of that, we will be making her a medic as well as a cleric. But let's just see here. Faith is really what I want to increase on her. But that is charisma, which is very unfortunate indeed. I would have loved to have increased that with intelligence. Ah, uh, Well, I think for now, we'll concentrate on her medical skills, so surgery is definitely something we want to increase because we mainly have living units, so that's always good. And we'll increase her throwing skill because she's probably going to be using some spells in the near future. Now it would be wonderful if we could get her some additional gear here because of course as you can see she's not wearing great stuff, so she I suppose can wear the apprentice robe now, which is never a bad thing, and we can give her this Saranid sword, and my old wooden shield, or we could give her this, actually. That's probably a better idea. Now, she can wear this Corsa, but I think we'll probably just keep that for ourselves for now. Does she have 8 strength? No, of course not. Okay. And winged mace? The winged mace might be something that she could use to good effect. Hmm, 98 speed, 99 speed. Hmm, no, I think we'll just leave her with the sword for now. Okay, I think that is fine. We've decked her out a little bit better than she was before, and of course all of our other units are rather injured. So I will be waiting here for quite some time, and as a result of that, I will be ending this episode off here. So I thank you for watching our return to Fantasy Calradia, and I will see you next time.